thumbs up and I would pass. Good call, Brooke. Oh, hey guys. Hey, what's going on? What's up, Elevation? I'm so happy to see you guys tonight. <laughs> really, we can't see you. Um, I love the comments we're getting in about Tuesday. We see some really good comments from Elise and Brooke and Aaron. Getting our hands up fast. I like that that said right away. That was the first things that were said by Elise and Brooke. Get your arms up quick. Hands over the net quick. Hi, Rachel. We see your face, too. <laughs> it has two hearts on the eyes, and one of them is a kitty cat. <laughs> 125 degree arms at the net awesome yeah that's good stuff that's all all things we talked about I like the specificity that's good um, is the is the stuff up from the the videos this week the the team chats is that on here do we have some good zoom meeting stuff from the week I would Heck love yeah. to see some of that Alyssa Oh, uh, you're in here with um, Coach Lisa and Coach Adam. Alyssa's in here kind of monitoring us. She does such a good job at the tech side of everything. Um, we have some updates from just Zoom meetings this week. Looking good on, is this Rose's team? Okay, so this is uh, Coach Grafton's team. They have some good words up there. I see family twice, do you? That's awesome. That, that is, that is awesome. One. It's the same one because on Zoom. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That looks good. I love it. I love the conversations that we're getting out of these uh, Zoom calls. I like that you guys are doing some some video with happy. your team. I like, <laughs> I know. Somebody's grumpy with the sign says happy. <laughs> <laughs> I like the effort. I like the effort. That's funny. What's the next one? Do we have another one on there? Yep. 15 Hess. All right, 15 Hess. We see you. We have a Unity. I see Unity. What else do you see on there? Fun. How about fun? I like that. Yes. Fun is good. We should be having fun. Yes, we should. Working hard and getting better is fun. I can't see that one. Passion. 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 There's passion again. <sighs> Gotta have some passion. I love that our Zoom strength. meetings are still happening. I like strength. Strength? Yeah. Someone, someone didn't get out there fast enough. <laughs> That's good stuff. Um, continue those Zoom meetings. That's great. Feed into each other. Give energy. Be an energy giver. Yes, very good, add to it. Hey, so we're gonna start with some video on blocking. Um, we have some good stuff for you guys tonight from different age levels, and uh, you'll get a surprise at the end what, with what we're gonna continue on doing with our video and YouTube live. All right, are you ready, Adam? I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, so this is 12 Burhager, it looks like. What do you get back to the bunch? I like that the right side stepped in, saw it. That's a big block. So I would love for, for us to be a little more loaded with our knees bent. Agreed. But I like that, um, looks like Hannah Drock there was uh, seeing that the set was out of system or it might have been out of system play. Let's see here. Setter's coming off the net, and she's bump setting. So right there, we recognize it's out of system. Right. Eye sequence is a little late. Great hands. Everybody tries to get to that ball when it's tight like that. I respect that. And again, would love to see everyone get loaded before the set's made. Get Agreed. your knees bent. We should be loading on the first contact. The dig, the pass, knees are bent, heads down. So this looks like Crofton. Great off blocker D. As a side <laughs> note, sorry, that's a big deal. Okay, we sat. We have the play developing. It's out of system. It's a bump set. The eye sequences, ball setter, ball hitter, ball, and, and the middle's going over there right away. Yes. It's it's awesome to see this because I know the middle on this team is not a traditional middle. This is a good one here. Again, our knees are straight for some reason as a middle, so I'd love to see our knees bent in a better load, in a load position. The left side is probably moving too much. There's no reason for the left side to be chasing the setter that way. There's right. no responsibility. Stay balanced, stay home. Just block the balls you're supposed to. Okay, here we go again. So right now, that first contact, we should be loaded at the net, knees bent, ready to go. And then that ball is blocked versus a good touch. Yeah. 
Now, Adam, I really like good touches. How about you? Yeah, right. We, we call that chip at the, uh, at the older ages. We, we just want to slow the ball down, deter them from their first option swing. So we don't have to block everything. We've got a funnel and chip. Yes. Especially when they're in system. So in that play, it looked like Elisa's arms got a little skinny. She could have definitely had a bigger block on that with her arms. Setter. So we have a ball, setter. Find the quick hitter. Find the quick hitter. Ball, hitter. Go. Find Hit the hitter. Hands. Find the hitter. Back that's to ball. That's a one-footed ball. takeoff. That is a one-footed takeoff. That's, that's an athlete right there. Agreed. So Elise might have felt like she was beat on that, which is why she did the one-foot takeoff. Who we got here? Brooke Baltima. Brooke Baltima. That is so a big block. This is a this is a very big block. And so their middle is not, she knows the middle's out. So Brooke already leaves. Smart choice. Good choice. Brooke leads with the hands really well right there. See her get their hands out. Hands are up very early. You notice she blocks that with her left hand. Independent hands, belly buttons back to the ball. That's just a great block. That's a really good block. She got away with one there, but that's fine. So notice that she's a little late on this one. Her belly button is quite, is not around a zone six. That middle's all the way out, yeah. I don't... The middle's running a three, so Brooke could have went out a little bit further on that, which is why she's late on this, but she has such good hand to ball. I, I think her belly button gets back to six really fast, like At before the end. she finishes jumping, which helps her a lot. It's a good makeup move, I guess, if you have it. Definitely, makeup moves are a big deal. Right, I mean, we all get beat, <laughs> right? Yeah. Ah, see right there, Brooke, I would ask you what you were looking at. I think um, your head looks like you're looking at the setter the whole time. She's setting the quick, it's high, I think you got away with one. Although, Brooke is a very good blocker. Brooke has very a very good. nice hinge here, so as she tucks her arms to go swing block, this is why her arms get over fast. Notice her elbows are bent going back, and her arms are over the net very quickly. Awesome block. Yes, it is, and it's because her arms are not long, like she's taken an approach. Oh but Alyssa, let's pause this real quick. Um, I know it's called an approach block, but... Our, when we swing block, our arms should hinge going back or tuck. That will allow us to get over the net a little bit faster. Do you agree with that? I, I agree. It, 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 there's a lot of timing and everything that goes into it. And if a team is in system or there's any tempo, you've got to be faster with the ball. And anybody that's played middle knows that you feel like you have to be in two places at once. Right. There's a sense of urgency there. Yeah, it's that urgency. Now, now before we go on, I want to remind everyone, um, Brooke is a, was a freshman last year in the GCL, and she, uh, I, I think she led the GCL in blocks, didn't she? I don't doubt it. I, yeah. I believe that's the case. As a freshman, Brooke Boltima led the, the, led the GCL in blocks. That's pretty impressive for a freshman. All yeah. right. We'll continue. I uh, like the cheat. Way to get out, Brooke. Good job. She saw the 31 Super there. early. That's that, we call it ball hands, ball hitter. But she found her quick hitter early, got in front of the 31. Brooke Kinda. does a nice job getting loaded when the pass is made. Yes. Everybody watch her head shrinks here. Head's down, knees are bent. The setter's just now setting the ball, and she goes. There's no shuffle. Brooke's long enough to make up for it sometimes. But that's a... Yeah, that's a that's a really athletic block. Yeah, like how she lands balanced. Brooke right. does a good job landing balanced. Here's Jules. Jules and Megan Wolanski. That's just a good double block. It Megan is. doesn't take any false steps to the right. Watch Wolanski find find the quick hitter, and she won't she won't false step right. So she's balanced. She stays there, right in front of the hitter. Doesn't have to come back in or dive any. No emergency move, it's just a clean fronting of the hitter. Right. And she's a setter, so it's a great block. Adam Jules does a great job as well with that elbow hinge, that elbow tuck to get her hands over very quickly. Yes, Jules does a good job with hands to the ball. Long rally here. Good, loaded, See, ready to yeah. go. Watch, Mar Mar notice Marilyn did not return to the middle because her middle never got back to the middle. So Marilyn was smart enough to find her quick hitter in transition. 
So Maryland starts in the middle here. Wolanski's loaded. See Wolanski look off the ball. She found her hitter. She good get, eye work, good Megan. Eye good eye work. She, she stays home, doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, knew it was out of system. Yeah, we, we get the double block on a route in the middle. Watch Maryland come back and not get back to the middle. This is on purpose. See that middle goes out. Maryland stays, doesn't get all the way back to the middle because she knows she's got her quick hitter. Wolanski's down up. That's a great one foot slant. She just slanted one step. She didn't swing on that, Maryland didn't. She just slanted right away. That's really good by those on those two. Well done. And Allie's up with the setter. Makes her pay for the bad choice. Good job, Allie. See the load. Sydney McCarthy steps in for help in the middle. Watch 19, Sydney McCarthy step inside. See how her hitter is inside? Yep, she knows her hitter's coming in to She's hit that two in. ball. She's in. She's helping because there's no one on the pin. That's eye work. I, I think that, eye work is underrated and needs to be worked on more often. Hitters have to understand what's happening off the ball. So, let me let me pause this yeah. real quick. Oh, oh, oh. oh there we go. Okay. So when we say eye work, eye work is ball setter, ball hitter, and then ball, back to ball, because you're blocking the ball. And we we talk about that and, and trying to be ahead of the play a little bit. Yes. So immediately you look at that ball off the pass, find your setter, looking at where's where's my hitter, where's she going? And then you go back to the ball to block it. That's right. something very important that we don't spend enough time on, I think. I, I agree, and then, then it just makes life easier. It does. You know? You can see it more at this level, at the higher level with these older girls, can't you? Yes, it is, it is very obvious. That was a good example. Do we miss the drop right there, or do we go back? You what? No, no, okay. Do you want to rewind the drop? Yeah, let me rewind a little bit. Do I need to rewind a little more. Okay. A little more. I okay. Think. No, that's Jules. Another big block. Oh, no, that's Brooke. I apologize, Brooke. All right, now we're good. So okay. we should go forward. So lots of blocks. Blocks are good. Here we have Brooke Baltimore again. Good person to watch. Good person to watch here. Leading the GCL in blocks. Hands leading. Look those hands out. That's just a good double block, mm -hmm. right? We've seen that, but good on the setter, staying home, putting with the inside hand. There's Brooke again, cheating on the 31, cheating. which I love. Yes, Front me too. Good choice. Good awareness. She's got the awareness. So she, she one steps in the middle before the set. Hopefully everyone saw that. Notice we, that she blocked that with her left hand. She had independent hands on that. There, her hands were working independently. So I went back to six so she gets that one. So we're recapping what we've done earlier. That's good. Brooke should have been out a little earlier right. here. They're out of system. The middle only got a two-step approach from 12 feet away. She's not getting set. Yeah, I think Brooke finds a lot of success by getting her arms over early. Right. So does right. Jules here. I think these are two great people to watch in our club with blocking. Yeah, Jules is a great blocker. So watch Jules. Watch her head go down on the set. Right. Off the pass. Ball setter. We're bump setting, so we notice she's on, bump Jules, setting. Right. She goes. It's a little late. Good feet though. Good block. Hands to the ball. Wolanski's balanced the whole time and wins the joust. Ball setter, bump set inside. Yeah, Wolanski doesn't go she anywhere. Marilyn finds her. A good block is being solid and letting them hit over you. Yeah, if that happens, that happens. Take care of the things. I'm okay with that. We can defend that. If they hit over us, we can defend that. I agree. There's balls you should absolutely block, and that's when the setter misses low or tight. Block those balls. If the setter delivers a great set and somebody bombs the ball over you, fine. Right. Let's get the that. next point, right? Wolanski stays home. You can see her find that inside run off of one foot. That's over us, but that's a great block. Right. It's easily defended. We're in system here.
setting back up. Marilyn's finding the middle. And Marilyn never got back to the middle, which I love because she knew her middle and outside were on. Her middle goes was running and a system. Line yeah. Play. And we get a chip. That's that's a chip. That's a great touch. We'll dig that all day. Yes. Once he said the middle one of these times. And Allie sees that center attacking that ball super early. Good job, Allie. Sydney steps in, we saw that. Watch Sid dive in. Ready? She comes back to the right. back to the seam. It's a good swing and a good block. That's we'll call that a quality point and go get the next one, right? I mean that's fine. Have you ever had a middle call their center? Here it is. Oh, here it is. This is this is one of my ball favorite center. plays. So free ball. Did anybody see what happened? Right? Like nobody blocked. And, and we started the drop, so at the older ages, we have a, a call. So last year it was fire, this year I think it's drop. If they're not going to attack the ball and try to score, we are going to get off the net. Watch Jules and Megan here. Why do you want to get, get off the net? We don't need to touch that. We can dig this all day. See, nobody's attacking. Jules is gone. Riley's gone. Megan actually scoots back to get to approach, set this ball. Everybody's way off the net before the ball and comes over. And creating lots of space. Exactly. So we're in system. Should have got a kill on yeah, that. Yeah, well, we won't. We won't tell that to Riley. But that's <laughs> 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 but it, it's a great job because I know those three have excellent eye work. If they start to drop immediately after the second contact, they know no one's going to terminate that ball. Right. Nice belly button to six, Jules. Now they're out of system. Bump sets it to the right. Yeah, left side stays home. Left side doesn't guess or go anywhere weird. Watch Riley's head. Finds that hitter coming in. Riley's looking at the hitter, not the ball. Jules slants. Jules wasn't even finding her middle. She knew with a bump set her middle was out. She's exactly. going to pin to pin. Right. Drift nice a little touch. bit, belly button back to six, got good makeup. Good dig. Look at Jules. Jules is standing there on that pin, waiting for that set. And Jules off one foot. Good touch, Jules. Should take this rally right. See, no blocker See, no blocker. Again. They knew that she was out of system and that they should be able to get this dig and execute. Yeah, if a girl's going to roll her tip, fine. We'll dig it all day. We'll just go transition. There we go. So long, Riley. So Jules slants before the setter. Goes right, right heads yeah, down. Right. Big wide arm. She knew she wasn't closed. The that happens. right side was drifting a little bit. Yeah. But it was still a nice touch. Yep. Belly button's back to six. They're bounced in the core. Yes. There's just a little bit of room for makeup. Riley shot the banana there. Good dig by the bro. Right. Jules knows that the ball's being bump set out, so she goes out there. She doesn't even need to swing block. She's static blocking, taking away good space. Yeah, it could have been tighter there, diving inside more with an inside hand. That's fine, Megan. Do you That's like your run. do you like your pin blockers to help block the middle and dive in a little bit? Uh it depends. It's, it's I think it's mostly situational. An awareness. Yeah, maybe. like it's I mean most of the sets go to the outside. Let's stop the outsides. You know? I, yeah, I like when I, if the if we have a hole in the block, I do like the outside pins to be aware of it. I agree. But if a team is running middle at will, and if you're getting beat in the middle, then you're not serving aggressively enough. Right. And and I think the higher percentage of sets go outside. So we all know that, right? Yeah, let's just play the numbers game, right? Right. That's... Yeah. All right. So here we have USA Volleyball. And on the right side, we've got Jordan Thompson, uh, UC athlete at the time. In this clip, you're going to see Jordan Thompson. Um, they're in a good bunch block right here. They're loaded and ready to get their arms over to the net. You're going to see Jordan turn in finish her quarter to six, and you're also gonna see the middle doing a one foot takeoff. Now, when you get to USA Volleyball, this is a pretty fast tempo volleyball. 
So they may have to do a little more one foot takeoff in the middle than we do. So let's watch this transpire. We see eye sequence work. You see Jordan Thompson looking, she's looking, she's looking, she's ready to go. She does a two step swing block, two steps. Can I go back a little bit? That's beautiful. She's looking, she gets her arms prepped, ready to go. Two steps, core goes in. We got a one foot takeoff by the middle. Belly button's back to six. Oh, that's just beautiful. The nose sealed, palms on the ball. Nice to see a Cincinnati volleyball girl out there right, getting some right, box. Right, right, right. Is that it, that's it? Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> awesome, so when you think of blocking systems, Adam, um, I think the most, uh, I think the one we see the most is bunch blocking. Do you agree? Yeah. Um, and at what point do you start a spread block, which means your pins go out to the, to the antennas a little bit? Admittedly, that is few and far between at 17s. Okay. You know, um, we serve really aggressively. We've got right sides that do a good job of fronting their hitter who have good eye sequencing. Uh, sometimes we'll do that if we've got a super physical pin right. and we need to be moving back toward the middle for those touches. Right. But um, traditionally, block. Now, would you, um, if you were coaching a 12s or a 13s team, would you bunch block? I would probably spread. Yeah. I so probably spread. I would probably spread as well because they don't set middle as much. And when they do, it's a little higher, I would assume. I agree. And um, I don't know. Do you guys agree with that? Alyssa, you coach 12s. <laughs> I mean, I think it depends sometimes on the level. I mean, you got 12 ones out there when they went out to Kansas City last year. I know that they were running some crazy fast tempo stuff out of the right. middle that was like insane for some 12s. So, right. you know, maybe in that situation, maybe we look at bunch blocking. So you'd but, be strategic yeah. on, on different teams and whatnot. Yeah, but on 12, our, when I was coaching the 12, the twos team, like I'd say, yeah, we, we were definitely spread blocking more than bunch blocking. For right. Sure. Especially the, the right side might be spread a little more. Mm -hmm. So Just she can block that. Outside. Yeah, most of the time the, the set goes the outside percentage-wise, right? Right, but more specifically, like, I, I think it also caters to whatever your system you're playing, right? right? So, like, if you're playing a rotation D and you're in a bunch block, you're probably outside hand on the ball or inside versus inside yeah. hand on the ball. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't know why you would block line, defend the tip line, and defend the swing line. Right. You've got three defenders playing the same thing. Right. <laughs> right? Like, like, so within the bunch block, you can still front the hitter, you know, show and take, dive, inside hand versus outside hand, all that stuff that the older kids get into. What would you say would be the number one thing that you would look for in a good blocker? Mentality. Just want to block the ball and embrace. And not embrace just take away space. Yeah, embrace the physicality. Like, it's... It's the most physical part of the game. You have to want to hurt that girl's feelings or, you know, right. take that ball down. Like, right. you want to grab that ball. That's, it, it, without that mentality, I don't care if you touch 10-2 and you're 6-2, you're not going to be a great blocker. You can be a good blocker, but you won't be a great one. Right. So you'll be a great blocker when you have that mental piece. Yeah, I think it's I'm mentality. going up and getting it. Yep, go get it. I think we can all change that by the time we get back, right? I think so. <laughs> what about you? What would you look for in your best blocker? Um, I'm big on quick hands over the net. Yeah. I think that if you you get your quick hands over the net, you can find something. <laughs> yes. You're up there yes, and you can. you can find something. But you're right. I think the mental piece really locks it in home um, at, at every age, whether you're swing blocking or you're static blocking. And, and I think those are two different things, too, that we can argue about all day. What do you do, swing block or static block? And right. I think that's also a coach's preference. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, a team you're playing. Maybe you're not having success with your swing block because there's such fast tempo right. that you need to static block and get those hands over fast. Absolutely. Um, but I think, yeah, right. I think yeah. that's definitely something you need to learn both of them in order to change it up. I agree. It's one of those things where there's like really no wrong answer as long as you just do it right. Right. You know? Yeah. All right. Well, let's week. go to the next slide, please. Let's talk about next week. Oh, yeah. So leading into next week, y'all, this is going to be good. So we're kind of changing gears here since we've gone through this and we're still kind of on lockdown here. So let's keep <laughs> going. Um, 
We're going to change to Tuesdays are going to be what you send us. Send in your videos. So this is kind of an example of what we want you to send in because we would like to critique you doing things at home. This includes the 9s, 10s, 11s, 12s, all the way up to 18s. Uh, maybe we'll have a couple kids going off to college that can send something in. But we'd love to talk about it on Tuesday. And I think Tuesday, correct me if I'm wrong, is Tuesday passing. Yes. Tuesday is passing, Tuesday is serve receive. So when you're doing things at home, let's do some serve receive kind of passing things. Send them to us and we'd love to critique it. This is a good one. Um, with some blocking things. We would love oh, to see this. Two so we've step. got a two step, a slant, two is. step, um, a one step. I like it. I know, <laughs> so that's what we wanna see you guys. Here's passing again. Send this to media at elevationvolleyball.com. Here's a passing, right. this would be for next Tuesday. You can be creative. This yes. would be a setting when we do setting because that we're gonna run the same rotation. And what was it? We did passing first, setting second, Defense third, no, attacking. I think it was attacking then defense. Passing, attacking, Passing, defense, attacking. setting. We're gonna put the schedule out online. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, put, we're we're gonna gonna put the schedule out. We're gonna do the same rotation. We'll tune in every week and we'll tell you. How about that? Ah, that's that's right. right, I like it. But these are good examples. So we want to, yes. these are we wanted to show you some examples of what to do. I've seen lots of people make boxes to hit off of. That's great for attacking too. I like it. What about um send us a video of peppering with your parents? <laughs> then, we, then we can critique you and yes, your parents. Yes. And we may have a prize for or a, an opportunity for the winner of the most creative. I like we'll, that. We might take like a poll or something like that and whoever's the most creative um, we might actually allow to take over our Instagram for a day. So maybe if they're passing, they could balance a book or two on their head. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Right. Right. Level head, head. Right. Um, and then Thursdays are going to be some clips on gameplay stuff still with that. So we would really like to do the home video stuff and, and critique you and just, I'm so excited about that. Send those videos in. Be creative this week um, at your home. So we also have on here, um, thank you, Laziah. That's awesome. For if you guys want some extra things though coming in, uh, we have there's some great resources for blocking. There's some great resources on USA Volleyball's website. I think it'd be awesome if you guys could check that out. Um, I like Laziah said, send in those videos. Let's see what we're doing. And I believe Coach Laziah is gonna post actually a, a video in there. A link where you guys can find that USA oh, Volleyball yeah. video. The USA Volleyball video. We're going to post that in the in here right now. And uh, you can click on that link to find more blocking things. Awesome. Are we well done? done? I yes. think we're done. Are we done? <laughs> You're done. <laughs>